Damn that monster. <sighs> Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> I can sense Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> Goku and Frieza's energy. 
I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giraud created me in a lab on his computer. <laughs> Dr. Giraud again? Long ago, Dr. Giraud gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> what here? Ah, he used the time machine. How fair. The guy who attacked all those people in Gingertown? He must be the thing that left the X- Got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. 
How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's... Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him, or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. Now, we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck. Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. The monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? 
great soul. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Goku! Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah. I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi-Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. <sighs> We're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah, but how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train, too. You're going to fight? No way! You're in no shape to fight! You need more rest! Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi-Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Though I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi-Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. Thank <laughs> you.